Hi guys, there were a lot of comments coming in for publishing a vegetarian weight loss plan. So today is the day. And the good thing is that this plan is suitable for all, including PCOS, thyroid and diabetics as well. But please adhere to the do's and don'ts. With this plan, you'll be able to lose up to 10 kilos in 10 days and is 100% vegetarian, high protein and a low carb diet. So let's get started. Start your day with a bowl of papaya fruit on an empty stomach. Eating papaya empty stomach helps you get all its benefits. It will detox your body and ensure smooth bowel movement. Moreover, papaya is easily available around the year and at all the places. It is also very high in fiber, vitamin E and C. After 45 minutes of having papaya, for the break, have a glass of spirulina shake along with a handful of roasted or boiled peanuts or ground nuts, preferably unsalted. Those of you who are allergic to peanuts can have pumpkin seeds. Peanuts are rich in protein and fiber and will keep you full for about 2 hours. They also increase your metabolic rate and stabilizes blood sugar. Pumpkin seeds are rich in omega-3 and 6 acids and help lower your cholesterol. They also decrease oxidative stress and stabilize blood sugar levels. I have included spirulina as in vegetarian plants, the protein sources are meager. Spirulina is a superfood and 100% vegetarian. It contains 60 to 70% protein and has all the essential amino acids. It is also low in calories, plus this shake is easy to make and will keep you full for longer. I have used spirulina powder, milk, banana and maple syrup to make this shake. It's very simple. Just put all the ingredients together in the blender, run it and your shake is ready. If you wish to use any other seasonal fruit instead of banana, go ahead and use it. The complete video on spirulina and its benefits is in my channel and the link is in the description box. Normally, you can also use a good quality honey to sweeten this shake. But if you are a diabetic, then use 1 teaspoon of original maple syrup as it is low in glycemic index and will not create spikes in your blood sugar. If you are a PCOS or a thyroid patient, then make this shake with almond milk instead of regular milk. Now for lunch, take a cup of brown rice along with a bowl of lentils or dal. You can also have a cup of fried vegetable brown rice. I have a video on the same in my channel. In it, I have used purple cabbage. However, you can use the regular green ones. By one cup of cooked rice, I mean a measuring cup like this. Fill it with rice and that's the right portion. Don't use white rice. Brown rice is extremely nutritious and is rich in fiber which will help you lose belly fat and excess weight. Also have a cup of green tea. This tea has catechins and antioxidants which burn belly fat and help you get a flatter stomach. You can use matcha green tea, green tea bags or loose green tea leaves. With your lunch, do have a tablet of multivitamin to ensure optimal health. Now in the evening, have either a cup of green tea or green coffee along with 5 goji berries, 3 walnuts, 5 almonds and 2 dates. Walnuts are rich in omega-3 acids and almonds reduce bad cholesterol and target fat burning in your belly area. Goji berries are a superfood and contain 21% fiber by weight and a lot of chromium which promotes a more efficient metabolism. Dates are also rich in amino acids and fiber and help in body growth and constipation. A mix of all these will provide you with a balanced snack which is high in fiber, vitamins and minerals. Now for the dinner, have a bowl of tomato bell pepper soup with few carrot sticks. The recipe of soup is in my channel and is very easy to make. You can also make tomato pumpkin soup, the recipe of which is in my channel. Tomatoes help production of an amino acid named carnitin, which enhances the body's fat burning ability. And bell peppers activate thermogenesis and increase your metabolism. The soup is filling and is rich in fiber and vitamin C. It will keep your stomach light and digestion on the track, which is very essential during a weight loss program. Just ensure you're not having packed soups as they're high in sodium. Also don't add salt to carrot sticks, but you can definitely squeeze in some lemon juice if you like. After one hour of having the soup, have a cup of green coffee. I'm asking you to have green coffee as it's decaffeinated and you won't have sleeping issues. Also, it has chlorogenic acid which gives good weight loss results. 
I have a video on green coffee if you wish to know more about it. Its buying link is also in the description box. In between the meals, if you feel hungry, then feel free to have apples, oranges or cucumbers. And now our vegetarian weight loss meal plan is complete. It's a 10 days meal plan and there are no alternatives. As I mentioned above, it is safe for all, be it thyroid, PCOS or diabetics. PCOS and diabetics do ensure to have fillers every two hours as your condition demands the same. Also to all those following, indulge in 10 to 15 minutes of fast walk, jogging or cycling to keep your metabolism up and running. Follow the plan as shown and you'll be able to lose up to 10 kilos in 10 days. And that too in a very healthy manner as the plan has superfoods like spirulina and goji berries which will provide you with all the essential vitamins and minerals. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit like and share and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't and I will see you soon with a new one. Till then, start this meal plan as it's time to get fit, burn fat and feel great. Bye-bye.